We train at Rutgers twice a week. Coach Gag here. Twice a week we train at Rutgers, Mondays and Fridays. We all meet, some come in from Philly, North Jersey, and New York. And uh, we go to work, and Rutgers has been great in lending us our facilities. We work out from 10 to about 12.30. The rest of the time they're on their own, I'm on the phone, and uh, this is the way it's done back east. And how far is New York? You said you pick up Delilah from New York and drive to Rutgers. How far is I pick, that? I pick up Delilah and Liam Boyle and, uh, Liam Boyle and Pet and uh, Christine Whalen, who's, you know, from Georgetown. And uh, uh, it's 75 miles uh, from my house in Rye. Stop at the Armory, pick them up, go to Rutgers, train, cool down, come over the bridge, stop at the Armory and go home. What about all the people who say, you know, you need altitude, you need to be out in Oregon, you got to have all this, you got to have that? Well, they're very fortunate to have that, but you don't need it. You know, I really don't think you need it, but I, I haven't had it in 50 years of coaching. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate to coach some great ones, so no one's ever gone to altitude. So, you know, it's just... What's inside here? You know, we got a lot of facilities in the East. You got the Armory, you got Haverford, you got uh, Rutgers, and you got um, uh, Seton Hall, who's been very, very, very nice to us to let us use their facilities in bad weather. And never, you never had a woman's steeple before, have you? No. How, I mean, what's it like coaching that event? I think it's fantastic. I mean, you know, I had Mike, uh, Mark Manley. I had a couple of steepers. I had Mike Roach. 1976 it was an Olympian. I think it's great. It's super, you know. And looking back over the years, do you have a is there an athlete that stands out for you or? They all do. Really? They all do. Every one of them. Even a kid that finished the eighth in the Big East Championship and scored a point means a lot to me. All right. Well, good luck. Thanks.